So first, instead of doing the advanced part first, first we're going to animate this cube to an audio. So we're going to switch to the graph editor uh, and insert a keyframe. Uh, the keyframe doesn't matter, it's going to get overwritten. Um, in the graph editor, select key, bake sound to F curves. Um, and the settings are over here on the left, but you really don't need to, to change them. So you can see that this value, the x, y, and z location, are now animated to the volume of that sound clip. And you can actually add in the sound clip so you hear what's going on. <laughs> So that's pretty simple. You can you can animate some things this way, um, but what's important is about this tutorial is actually applying it to complex things like an armature. An armature isn't going to work like this, um, and other things. And you also don't have control unless you bake it all over again, um, which takes a lot longer because the bigger files. You don't have control over how much it's affected. So I'm going to show you how to do it with drivers. So we're going to leave this cube here. This is going to be our control object. Um, so this is just going to be a different object. Just for something else to use. Um, this one I'm going to add a driver to the scale, the Z scale. So how to, how you add a driver is any value, really anywhere in Blender, you right click on um, the slider and add a driver. If I clicked add drivers, it's going to add drivers to the whole scale, but I'm just going to add a single driver. And back in the graph editor, switch to drivers. and um, all the drivers for this object, there's only one, are over here. Um, so you can only select and edit one at a time. Um, let's see. You're going to scroll down to the drivers section. And this is a little complicated, but I'll explain it. Um, this in the expression box, this is the value of whatever Z scale is. Um, or whatever value you're changing. So it's at 1, it's going to stay at 1. Um, you could type in 5 and it's going to stay at 5. Um, but we're, what we're going to do is use this down here. This is an external value um, named var. Um, and we have to actually choose where to get that value from. We're going to get it from cube that cube we made earlier, and we're going to get it from the cube's x location. And that's going to be called var. So we type in var, um, and this is going to constantly be, this value is going to constantly be this other object's um, value that we took from. So now, you can see it's acting in the same way we want to actually be able to edit it. So this this box right here acts, um, you can put in any mathematical equation. So let's say we don't want it to be flat when the value is at zero. So var plus two, this is going to take whatever value it's at and add two. So it's still animated, but now it's a little bigger. Um, you can do a lot of things with this. It's Python notation. So the asterisk is multiply, slash is divide. So let's do that. So now it's getting affected very minimally. Um, we can apply this to just about anything. So let's add a driver to this and make it change color. Um, 
to add a driver to a color, you just have to right click on that box. Um, so now we have these three drivers, and I'm going to uh, switch the red. And for, for each one, you have to select um, this cube again. I usually name it something that's going to be at the top of the list for a big scene. And put in var. And now, you can't see it that well, but it's changing color. Um, and that's the red uh, changing amount. But since the other, since the other values, um, you can see at this particular frame, the red is down to zero, to almost zero, because the sound is at almost zero. Um, and the other colors are still up, so... Um, have fun trying to make that work. <laughs> um, and then for armatures, let's add an armature. Let's just add a little something that we can deform this with. And I'm going to I'm going to add a new bone and use it as a an IK target. So I can do that to it. That's not exactly what I wanted. Oh right, I have to split this up so that I can actually animate it. So that's a little weird, but um, just like everything else, you can add drivers, and you can add individual drivers, um, and if I wanted to, I could control the X location uh, with one controller. Say you had multiple targets, um, and they each were based on a different audio file. Say one was the high pitch part of the audio file, one was the bass line, etc. Um, you could affect individual things. Uh, the X location with the bass line, Y with the um, the high pitch notes, and you can also um, have multiple variables involved in this equation up here um, as well. So you can you can do a lot of things. You can get really complex and control things with this.